So the other day I'm out and about, as I tend to do, and I was walking home from the western side of Central Station. And there are just an awful lot of um, disruptions throughout Amsterdam, whether it's they're working on tram lines or pavements or cables or sewage or whatever. There's just lots of stuff. Or they're just simply re designing the roads so that there is less room for cars and more room for cyclists. But in order to do this, they first need to stop people uh, from certain places. And um, so this, there's, I'm sort of walking behind the station going home and the lady comes from my left, she's on her bike, and I hear her mutter, she's grumbling, and she said, it's never finished, Amsterdam is never finished. And she's referring to the fact that well, she can't cycle normally. She has to get off her bike and then sort of maneuver around this, along these um, strips, uh, I think uh, steel strips that they put on the ground where um, caterpillar tracked vehicles can move. And so I just thought of that. I thought, oh yeah, Amsterdam is always busy. And then the, f the f thought that came after that was more along the lines of, most of us have no idea how complicated it is to, you know, build, run a city. And even those who are charged with running the city often make mistakes. The, the plan is usually, uh, or the intention is usually good. And um, sometimes these things don't work out. At times they do. I think most of the time they do. But sometimes they go very wrong. And one of the things that is, if you live in Amsterdam, in the center, you notice that, um, I think last year there was this new regulation in order to get rid of plastics and metals, which you have uh, plastic bottles and uh, the metal cans. The small bottles had no deposit on them, so you just threw them away. And the same went for cans. But now you can get money for these things. So what you notice is that if you live in the center, they don't have many of these bins that are set into the ground so you can throw your rubbish and it disappears. You, you have certain days of the year, uh, sorry, days of the week, where you put out your rubbish and the, mo the following morning the rubbish collectors will come and pick it up. Um, now what you tend to see is you see that, but every single bag is cut open. Practically every single bag is cut open as people search for gold and this gold is the plastic bottles and the tin uh, what do you call it? the cans the drink cans um it's not only that you see it, it's really crazy because the dust people the rubbish collectors is driving them mad because they can't pick up a bag if they pick up a bag half of everything inside falls out so where i live the collection is on monday morning and thursday morning and so that means every Monday morning or every uh, Sunday evening or Wednesday evening, you see these huge piles of rubbish ripped apart. It is, it is crazy. And it's not what you would expect to see in a modern city. And often wonder, okay, why, how does this happen? How does a city that can plan, how do all these smart people come together and, uh, come up with ideas that tend to make things worse rather than make them better. I have no idea. I don't work in that field. When Way, way back when I still did things in architecture and urbanism, sometimes you'd have very strange discussions with people in the municipality and you realize that there are all these little silos or these little um, empires within and this one didn't necessarily talk to that one or this one thought their needs were higher than the other one. So it could be that, I don't know. But whatever the case is, you, if, you, if you are visiting Amsterdam and you wonder why is it so incredibly filthy, it, it has to do with a plan to do good for the planet, that is take out these, uh, recycle or do something with all the plastic and uh, the metal. But it has gone the other way and it's created a huge mess. The funny thing is that, or I don't know if it's funny, but one thing is that this torn, these torn open bags used to be, it used to be, it used to happen 
in previous years because um, the seagulls, would, they know there's food in there and they come rip the bags open and uh, munch away. Now it's a combination of uh, people cutting them open, sea seagulls getting a free snack, and of course the rats. The rats, by the way, um, uh, when I lived in Nigeria, people would tell me of a certain area in Lagos, and they said, well, the rats there, they just cross the road as if it's their road, that you need to stop for them, and they'd look at you with a particular attitude. And sometimes, uh, as I'm wandering around, I see a rat move from left to right, and they don't seem very panicked. This is in Amsterdam. They they sort of go to the bins. It's, it's like, um, well, I don't know how rats consider food, you know. It's not ratatouille, so whether this, I consider the bins fast food for rats and they just love it, you see rats everywhere. And so the city is a mess. Uh, I don't know how they're going to sort that out. I also feel that there is probably not very much money. I'm sure a lot of uh, modern cities, European cities are struggling with the um, how are we going to fix things up? We don't have any money, and, and yeah, yeah, I don't want to get into that because it's a bit of a downer. So we'll just leave it at the bags. If you come to Amsterdam, see this mess everywhere, understand that the mess is there because people try to do a good thing.